Okay, you guys, this is Nikki. I'm back tonight with your final reading. So my daughter picked out another deck. What's the tea? What's the tea? We got self-love. Loving yourself just the way you are. Not dimming yourself to fit other people's perception, self-care, and inner beauty. It's all about self-love for you, Virgo. That's something you need to focus on. I think I've seen this message twice today. All right. In other places. Spilling the tea. What's the tea? What do you need to know? What's going on? One-sided love. Hmm. Okay. That makes sense to me. Uh, you've probably been in a situation where it was one-sided. You love somebody. They didn't love you back. Maybe they weren't committed to you as you were to them, Virgo. And that's where you practice self-love, you know? I love myself enough to let go of this stupid-ass motherfucker who doesn't love me. Just that simple. You have a purpose. Someone who knows what they are meant to do in life, understands their life mission and plays no games, has the facts. You know who she, this person reminds me of here, for those of us who were like a, a little bit older. Reminds me of Mary Tyler Moore. <clears throat> the opening scene, you can turn the world on with a smile. <laughs> That's who she literally reminds me of. I'm going to put that song in the um, the opening of, of Mary Tyler Moore show in the comment section for you all who aren't familiar with that opening sequence of that show. I haven't seen that show in years, but that's who that reminds me of, okay? You can turn the world on with a smile. This is your purpose to get out there and do some things. Your life purpose. We just did a life purpose reading, okay? And you already know what you're meant to do. It's time to put yourself out there. Get outside of your comfort zone, okay? Sure. Sharp tongue. We talked about this earlier in a reading I did, okay? This person has no filter saying nasty shit, has a tendency to say very critical things about people. Um, I did a reading earlier today about, you know, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So we're kind of like being reminded of some things that, that we need to take note of, take care of how we speak to other people, you know, kind of like what we say. We have to sometimes, we have a sharp tongue. I remember my mother used to tell me, she used to say something, watch your tone, <laughs> you know, and it wasn't me. It was just the way I talked, you know. So sometimes, sometimes Virgo, we have to watch our tone. We may not see what other people do, okay? Okay, we got a few that turned up. We have no limits. Uh, nothing can stop them, continues on without restriction and going their own way. Yeah, you're going your own way. Um, love, love No Limit. I think that was Mary J. Blige. I'm going to also put that song in the comment. It was something about No Limit, okay? Mary J. Blige. We have married. Um, if you were with somebody, they were probably married. They probably didn't tell you. That's why they were, they didn't share their open feelings for you. That's why this person wasn't. Uh, it was one-sided because they were already married to somebody else or in a connection to somebody else. They're possibly divorced now, but they weren't divorced then. They probably told you, I'm working on a divorce. We're, well, when you found out about it, we're not divorced, but I don't think we're going to be together too much longer. So, yeah, whatever. That's why you need to practice self-love, Virgo, okay? We got here eavesdropping. Okay, a, a peeping Tom looking over someone's shoulder, listening to your private conversation. So if you want stuff to say private, really don't tell your talk to talk your business to people. If you're out around, that's some, something different. But if you're having a, a private conversation or you think you are, make sure your people aren't your hustling, listening around the corner or in the next cubicle or something like that. Make sure that people aren't seeing or listening to what's going on. Even if you're flirting with somebody at work, there may be somebody kind of listening to what's being said or what's being done. <clears throat> you're stressed. We already know that. We talked about that last night. Okay. Somebody's copying your style. They want to be just like you, Virgo. They like how you dress, talk, look, etc. So much so that they act like you. They try to act like you. They try to emulate you. Okay? No matter what it is you do, they try to be just like you. But sometimes that's a good thing because especially if, if it's a friend or a family member, they emulate you because they, they admire you and they try to 
uh, they try to be like you. So sometimes we have to really, really watch how we carry ourselves around others, especially impression impressionable people. All right. We have bystander sitting back and watching it all happen, not standing up for someone and being hurt or abused. <clears throat> okay. I think that possibly you have watched something happen to somebody or somebody watched something happen, what, whatever, but nobody said anything. They just watched it happen. And, and I think somebody was so much in shock that it happened to you or that it happened to somebody you knew that you didn't know what to say, how to say it. So you just stayed quiet. Even if it happened to you, you stayed quiet. You didn't say anything. You didn't open up and speak about it. Okay. It, it was an innocent, innocent bystander. You're meeting your match, unable to compete or fight against you because you are just as good as they are. Meeting your match. <laughs> Balling. Mm -mm. Virgo getting ready to meet a baller, okay? Having a luxurious lifestyle, wanting and having the most expensive things in life. Pockets full. Meeting your match. You're going to meet somebody who is, you ain't got to worry about a thing when it comes to money. When it comes to spending the money, it's like, wow, Virgo. And meeting your match. The the card earlier I had, and two, this may be somebody who you will marry, okay? This is somebody you're, you're finally going to be meeting your match, but this person possibly has to get a divorce as well, okay? And and in order to meet up with you. that You're meeting your match because this person has a sharp tongue too, okay? Probably just like you, Okay. Definitely your soulmate material. There we go. That's for sure. Everybody can't stand up to you in a good way. We have sabotage. I think that's some self-sabotage, Virgo. Um, we have a distorted, yeah, distorted feminine, okay? And we have a hater. Somebody has sab have sabotaged you. They wanted to be like you so much, tried to emulate you, but they couldn't. So they tried to throw daggers in your back, tried to throw you under the bus because they can't be like you, Okay. They, the fear of conflict, hypersensitive, rejection of rationality, too receptive, waiting for things to happen. They sat, they've watched you go through some things, some good things in your life, possibly have a good relationship, but they hate, they're hating on you, okay? They're hating on, and they have no limits as to what they can do to hurt you, to throw you under the bus so things can't go the way they're supposed to for you, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. And we have stalking. Um, be careful. There could be a stalker around you. Somebody's watching you. Someone stalking you on social media or by any means possible, often checking up on you and keeping tabs and watching. They're keeping tabs on you. <laughs> Virgo, you have this fake person in your life. They're very, very fake. Um, and it's that same person who is distorted. They don't think too much of themselves. They try to be like you. They try to act like you. They try to pretend that they like you, but no, they really don't. They want to be you. Kind of like that movie, Single White Female. Okay. <clears throat> I, this is this guy who, <laughs> this just made me think of something. This guy, he's an older guy, lives across the street from me. Sometimes he, he will literally come out of his house and just stand in his driveway and just watch me and my daughter. Just stand there and watch. He doesn't say anything, you know, just. With his hands on his hips and he just watches. I think they're so strange. You can watch all you want, but don't touch. All right. He's been doing that for about four years. <laughs> and you're projecting, pointing out the actions of someone else, but really they are they are the things that you do. Okay. And we have gorgeous. We have gorgeous, but I'm kind of thinking that this distorted person here. Because they feel that you're beautiful, you're handsome, <clears throat> you're gorgeous. And it's like they're pointing out their flaws in you, okay? Because compared to you, compared to them, you're totally beautiful. And they are too, but in their own way. They just see you in a different way, a different light, and they wish they could be like you. So everything they feel negative about themselves, they try to project on you but it's actually their ugliness that they see that's truly them and not you so don't don't get that shit twisted let them talk somebody has some legal issues okay bad contracts making sure you 
uh, pay attention to what you're signing. Don't sign anything unless you make sure you're reading it. Make sure whatever it is is fair and just. Don't just go and sign it because you believe what the person is saying. No, you read it for yourself. Okay? Let's get some final messages for that. Ooh, we have somebody here who's more than just friends. Somebody who wants to be more than just your friend. Okay? How one processes knowledge, rules, communication, wants, generosity, and social life. You've probably hung out with this friend on plenty of occasions, and they they are nervous when they're around you. They stutter when they try to talk to you. They probably talk about you talk to you about you know some private moments, and they get a little nervous, a little jittery, a little sweaty. And when you touch their hands, why is your hand so sweaty? Because they dig you. Okay, they dig you, Virgo. And then we have the ninth house. <clears throat> the situation involves someone's belief systems, religions, and ideology, ideology, excuse me, ideologies, higher learning, travel, and philosophies. It's all about your ninth house, all about what you believe in your spirituality, your religion. And nobody can, <clears throat> excuse me, nobody can change the way you feel, change the way you think about your spiritual belief, your spirituality. That's why I always tell people in my readings, especially my my personal readings, watch to the beat of your own drums, just listen to the beat of mine. Okay, finally, low bad, low vibes and bad energy. Low vibrational persons, their energy that feels dark, dense and heavy, harboring, suffering, fear, and anger. Because you have this one person who is very, very distorted, okay? And they want to put their bad, their bad energy, bad. I'm hearing juju on you. And some of them may be practicing some some bad energy. You may have some family members who hate on you, and some of them probably pra practice witchcraft on you, but in a negative way. You already know. Every time you hook up with somebody, that person in your family or friend friendship circle, they want to get all jealous. They want to have an opinion about the person you're dating. All of a sudden, you you have you first you do good with this person into your life. That comes into your life all of a sudden y'all start having problems and you realize why do i keep having these problems why does cynthia keep on mentioning certain things and then all of a sudden things happen crazy in this relationship and we break break up because he or she wants what it is that you have her go let's give one more let's see let's get this one and we have ignored somebody's feeling ignored virgo maybe you're feeling ignored by somebody Maybe they're feeling ignored by you, but you've turned your back on somebody and now they're feeling ignored. You're no longer communicating with them or vice versa. And they're wondering like, what, what did I do, Virgo? What did I do? I hope this message resonates. 